In this one, I film some behind the scenes footage with the New Zealand cricket team. Let's go. <music> Just for a young player, a young quick, do you want to give some of your, your best tips and advice? Perhaps just learning from your experiences coming through, um, injuries, big problem for a lot of young players? Yeah, well, yeah, I think first and foremost you want to enjoy it, don't you? You want to um, enjoy what you do, try and bowl as quick as you can, try and swing the ball, um, don't try and lose those skills. Um, I guess injuries are sort of part and parcel of what happens with fast bowling, it's sort of something you've got to um, yeah, I guess make peace with in your own mind and stuff. But, you know, for me, I always think that injuries give you a chance to um, take a step back and work on your game and come back better and stronger. So I think if you can use those little, um, I guess, yeah, sort of setbacks to um, just come back better, then yeah, um, uh, you'll be all right. When you were coming through the ranks, how much emphasis did you put on the technical side of things? A lot said at the moment about having a you know, brace front leg, shoulder hip separation. Is that something that you put a lot of emphasis on coming through? Uh, I think it's something I sort of vaguely look at. I think there's a lot of different aspects to bowling. I think everyone does it in their own sort of unique way. So, yeah, look, there's not uh, there's not one way, I think, to bowl quick and one way to sort of get it right. It's um, whatever works for each individual. But, yeah, certainly something, um, I guess, that I like to look at is some of the, yeah, I guess, technical aspects and how you can kind of get better and, um, I guess, get the results you're after. And when you work in your craft, seam, swing bowling, any tips for a young player? Oh, yeah, I guess it's, um, I like to try and I guess, strip it back a little bit, try and do like really low level sort of stuff, some seam release into a baseball mitt, um, off a few steps and stuff. I think the more you can sort of groove that low level stuff, it makes it a lot, um, you know, quite a bit easier when you go back to your full run. So, yeah, I think just trying to, um, I guess, oil and grease is the sort of term that I like to use to sort of um, take care of, I guess, things at a lower level. And just one last one, you know, a lot of cricket being played, test cricket, short form cricket, a young player again, perhaps struggling to adapt across all the formats. How have you done it so successfully? I don't know, I think I'm still trying to work that out. Um, yeah, look, I think there's, if you can have a strong base to your game and stuff, hopefully that'll sort of take you across all forms and just about trying to learn. I guess, you know, the more the more you're sort of, um, I guess, exposed to those different situations, you sort of take different experiences and um, hopefully, yeah, I guess, yeah, um, just the more you do that, yeah, the, yeah, the better you'll be. Carl, perfect, go well today. Thank you very much, cheers. cheers. tips for a youngster a young spinner in particular if you can talk through perhaps your pre-match routine and just some of the disciplines that you do in training before a game yeah true? I think uh, obviously as a spinner mobility is probably your, your key to begin with and then um, you know just getting loose pre-game uh, making sure that the fingers are loose and the hands are loose and then uh, getting into your work bowling through a few balls and um, releasing a few deliveries at, at full um, you know full noise so once that's done, it's kind of then having a look at the conditions and, and figuring out what we're going to need. In terms of, like you say, your run-up, I've seen you do your marker there. Yeah. Um, in terms of going wide, going straight, do you want to just quickly just like talk through how you've just done it? Yeah, I literally, um, for me, it's just about marking where I'm going to start off. And then uh, from there, I'll kind of really just... Uh, just do that to, to kind of figure out exactly where I'm going to take off from. Um, but other than that, I try and keep it very simple. Um, as long as I know where my mark is, I'm, I'm okay. And in terms of variation, just a red ball game, is it all about just mastering your stop ball for a youngster before doing the other tricks? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, in test cricket especially, uh, if, if you can consistently bowl your best ball, which is your stop ball, over and over again, I think that's where you're going to challenge players and batsmen. So it's really important that we, we do that for long periods of time as spinners. Um, and, you know, imperative on conditions where they're probably not going to give you a lot to begin with, it's really important that you hit a nice line and length uh, consistently for a long period of time. Ajaz, go well today. Thank you very much.
before a day's play, you're just warming up as a keeper. What kind of things are you generally working on before you dive into the day's play? Yeah, I guess um, for me at the start, just trying to get my body moving. So we always start off with a bit of a warm up, um, just opening up my hips, things like that to allow me, obviously when I'm up to the wickets and I'm standing back, I'm just trying to move laterally as much as I can and open up for when I'm up to the wickets, being able to rotate my body um, for when the ball's rising and things like that. So I always start off with a bit of a warm up. And then from there, um, generally speaking, I'll, I'll just see what the bowlers are doing. So I'll try and keep to the bowlers as much as I can because just seeing the, um, I guess, the changes in the environments and things like that and how the ball's reacting off the wickets or off the block in this case. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I, I aim to start with. And then I might do a few basic things around. I might do, um, I guess, a little bit off the catch it board. I might do some off the face just to start. And then we normally go off with the, with the coach, do a few knickers, things like that, just to get myself going at the start. And then I'll just make an assessment depending on whether we're batting or bowling around what I do from there. In terms of like standing up to a spinner, does it differentiate in terms of your stance in comparison to um, catching to a quick? Yeah, so I've got a, a couple of things that I kind of try and do when I'm when I'm standing up to the stump. So I mean, the main thing is just trying to stay as low as possible. I think I found, especially on these like kind of warm up wickets, they're a little bit lower. So I'm just trying to get myself as low as possible, and then be able to be as loose as I can I can be, and able to come up with the rise of the bounce. There's the ball every now and then that pops up. So if I can be as as light and, and loose in my arms as possible to be able to rise with that, um, that's what I try to do. So I start off with trying to stay as low as possible. And then the main thing, obviously, is just watching the ball. Um, I think that's the biggest thing, watching the ball, but then just being able to be as loose as you can to be able to react. And then just mainly thinking about doing some, a bit of brilliance. So whether that's a leg side take, or whether that's just a little nick or something like that, just always being prepared for those things. In terms of balance, whether you're standing up or uh, back to a, a quick, is it all about having balance so you can like go both ways? Yeah, I think so. I mean, my main focus is generally on just trying to keep my weight forward a little bit. And that starts with kind of keeping myself nice and low. Um, so that, that obviously that can vary depending on the wicket, depending on the bounce of the wicket. If it's a bit more of a bouncy wicket, I might just start a little bit higher. Um, know that I can go down from around my knee height if I need to, but then might have to rise. But if, yeah, if it's a low wicket, then I'll try and focus on keeping my weight forward as much as possible because if, as soon as you start going from that position and going back, then you're nice and hard and that's not really what you want to be. Um, so just trying to be as loose as I can when I'm up to the stumps, coming up, almost like lifting up a little bit with my butt first and then it allows me to keep my weight forward. And normally getting yourself in trouble when you do come up on your heels. So that's something, just being on my toes, keeping my weight forward, just nice and simple like that. That allows me to have that balance. In terms of the way you catch the ball, do you have ways, is it up, down, do you have any preferences? I think generally speaking, if I'm standing up to the wickets, I'll um, be have my fingers pointing down to the ground. Um, and then I, I guess I ride across the ground. So whether that's down the leg side, through there, offside through there. Um, but then obviously when I go back, that's where um, maybe if the ball's moving a bit more, I might try and drop down a little bit lower to rise with the ball, fingers pointing up. And last one, what's your best tip for a young keeper? I think the most important thing is to watch the ball. That's the obvious thing. Watch the ball and watch it all the way into your gloves. I think sometimes we can watch it to about this distance and then we kind of back off a little bit. So just trying to watch it all the way in. Uh, having wider targets as possible um, when you're catching the ball and then just keeping your head in line. So there are three things that I'd, I'd focus on is number one when you're training and then from there on you can worry about things like footwork and things as the training progresses.